here at Fatsua, which is one of the key motor makers for the e-bike market. Just follow me. And like all the employees, look. <laughs> look, who's that? Felix. Alex, Hello. nice to meet you. Kids e-bike. That's my kids e-bike, yeah, especially wow. for mine. If you're willing to see anything, I will show you anything you would like to see. So you might try them, they might fit. We're in Germany, safety first. Well, actually, it's perfect timing because the guys are on break right now, but it can lead you through the different stages. Okay. So here in Munich, in our uh, headquarter, we are producing on different two different production lines. This part is the heart of the system, it's the motor. Can I pick one up? E yeah. With the shoes, you can, as you're... I'm officially safe. You're officially safe. The drive pack. That's the actual motor. I don't want to break that. Yeah. So you put that down. And what are all these parts? You have different platens and different uh, programs that are saved on the platens. So like the motor control, the... Um, Can I pick one up? Mm, no. I would don't prefer if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> we try to keep everything open and more... Um, yeah. Because if you're interested in seeing it, you just buy a bike and you mm -hmm. cut everything open. So here, the... The outside, the okay. black color tube is going to be combined with the motor unit, mm -hmm. uh, which happens here with that tool. Okay. By the mm. way, we developed all the tools you see here by ourselves and even the software, which uh, allows us to have a 100% traceability. So in case we get to know that one part of the system is not good, mm -hmm. Okay, this is a container. It looks like it's got some lubricating grease to slide it in. And that's where the motor fits in the container. And this container goes in the down tube. So, okay. On, on this um, step, mm -hmm. the radiator is going to be placed on the container. So this is a radiator. Yeah. It's not just a styling point of the motor. Definitely not, no. It looks stylish, but it has a function. So function it follows. Do you know what kind of temperature the motor gets into internally or not? Um, yeah, it depends on the outside temperature and it depends on your cadence and it depends on your oh, okay. um, many different values. But we got it tested and it's uh, working until a temperature of 75. Okay. So which would mean you would ride it through the desert for uh, many hours. But to keep high quality standards, we had to make sure that we have the production inside. And here we have very short ways of communication between quality, service, Depart it's literally some stairs. Yeah, it's uh, okay. What's this machine? I see a big laser button. What's yeah. that mean? If you open it, you will see. Okay, inside are some motor casings. Yeah. Or complete systems, yeah? This is where the drive packs are lasered. This means okay. they will get their serial number, their logo, mm. their uh, warranty symbols. Mm. And uh, after that, they are mm. ready to go. And you can put your own name on it as you well? You can laser everything on that. So we can maybe make our own Alex Boyce. Ooh. Drive pack, if you wish. That would be then really would, cool. Then you would have the oh. first personal drive pack out there. The final step where we just um, clean everything up, make sure they look shiny, and we will put them into these bags and store them in the cartons and make them ready for the shipment. Isn't it true, Felix, you found a spy? There was a spy. We, we don't know if it was a spy, but it was a um, guy that looked like a spy, <laughs> like in a comic book. So and industrial he went, espionage is an important thing, and you've talked about the openness of Fatsua. Yeah. And you said it was kind of pointless. Eh? Because it actually, it doesn't make too much sense, as they could watch YouTube videos like this, and yeah. um, they don't have to sneak in here or... Yeah, we are competing with... We are competing with companies that have an uh, automotive background mostly mm -hmm. and therefore the standards are quite high and we have to keep up with them. Mm -hmm. Building the first part of the bottom bracket assembly, because if you look at a Fatsua motor, they fit into the frame transversely. So, uh, can you explain, Felix, what's going on? So, the main difference from Fatsua to other mid-motor systems is that the motor is not in the bottom bracket, mm -hmm. but it is in the, in the down tube. Mm -hmm. So when we are, um, we see how the bottom bracket is assembled here, mm -hmm. and Andreas is just putting, pushing in the hollow shaft with a few... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, now I see what he's doing, sensor. he's adding some kind of... Yeah, this is the cadence sensor. Okay. So can, can we show the camera that? So we can see what that's yeah, going sure. on? Okay, so those are the two parts. So that is complete at this stage, correct? Yes. And then we've got more bearings and bits here, so what's going on here? 
So this is the angle gear that is transmitting the power of the motor to the bottom bracket. So right. it okay. translates the, the power to uh, okay. transports it. And this is where the counterpart okay. of the, the motor part, so where it interfaces, yeah. that's where that goes. Okay. So what are we doing here now? We're at the next stage. So, so Alex just uh, implemented the uh, sticker which um, with the serial number of the torque sensor. Mm -hmm. So we have a serial number um, aside the serial number of the whole so, bottom bracket. So the, the system knows that set torque sensor, that motor, so you can see in the production if there's ever a problem with a batch or something like that, correct? Yeah, yeah. So this is the lifelong amount of grease the bottom bracket will ever need. It will never need more than this? No. You it's will totally never sealed. You will never have to open the bottom bracket and put another shot of grease in there. Okay. It will last for the lifetime of the bottom bracket, which will be at least two years, which is the warranty, or, I mean, we have tests for 40,000, 50,000 kilometers uh, on okay. so this is way longer than the usual standard okay so this is where the crankshaft is pressed into the module that is soon going to be implemented in the rest of the bottom bracket okay uh, is it a hollow crankshaft it's a hollow crankshaft with right. an ISIS standard okay. we're very proud that we are a system that is mm. having the exact Q factor as you are used to it as a road okay. cycle we have the possibility of having the modularity which is also unique unique with Fatsu that you can put out the motor and have a normal bike at the same time. I mean, how many motors or bottom brackets are you producing a day? I mean, uh, yeah, we are not, we're not, we are not communicating that, but okay. um, quite a few. Quite a few. <laughs> this is our help desk manager, Basti, just hanging hey, around. Hello. My name is Sebastian. Oh, no, he's got I work to do. the service department. You have a service case? <laughs> This is a very dynamic situation here. Yeah, that's just <laughs> usual. We're just playing guitars and drinking beer all the time in but, the service. So he's got the service, he's got the drive pack. Now what does he do with it next? He will service it. Come over here, the camera, as we can show this. Now, it seems quite a, a sealed system. This is something just our service centre here in Munich is allowed to do for so Europe. A, a normal dealer is not allowed to do this? No, the screws are sealed. Okay. And um, we are we are not allowing dealers to access this. service the. Would I be correct and assume that you can now track each of these parts yeah. and which one could be at fault if there is a problem or something that needs servicing? Correct. Ex exactly. So if you would detect many service cases with that exact batch, mm -hmm. we would know which batch is uh, damaged and what batch we have to get out of the market as soon as mm -hmm. possible conversation. And there is Philip coming. Hey guys. Hey. Philip, nice to meet you too. I've just been shown around the building. Yes. Philip, tell me something about who you are and what you do. Uh, okay, so my name is Philip. Uh -huh. uh, I was one of the co-founders in uh, when we founded the company in 2013. So when you look at the rest of the e-bike market, they're all around the bottom bracket. Now you guys have made a motor in the down tube. The main concept idea was definitely to get uh, a better um, integration of a drivetrain okay. inside the, the e-bike. Okay. So we decided to hide as much as possible in the down tube. It's 4.7 kilo okay. um, and the big benefit is the frame doesn't have so much ex extra weight. A little bit smaller battery, a little bit smaller motor power, but that's the concept. Um, the motor can deliver 400 watts, so in the end we get 315 watts roughly at the crank mm -hmm. uh, and 55 newton meters okay. but 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 the software itself is designed to be not as brutal or as aggressive okay. as uh, the normal motors are we didn't want to have the a motorcycle we just wanted to have an e-bike where you think you have a lot of more power extra power in your legs okay. and anyone this is one of the battery masters of the world or it's 252 but we say okay. easily 250 yeah, samsung cells. samsung yeah. cells. Yeah. it's okay. the it's the 35e i mean there is a new standard coming up 21 700 yeah. but uh back then when we developed the system it was very common the 18 60, uh, 650. Okay. everybody wants more range more this more that smaller size how long before we have a super battery technology? <laughs> Five years, 10 years, 20 years? Well, I think uh, what, is, what is happening right now is really um, there are some little improvements. The current technology is also the, the dangerous uh, or the danger of catching fire and these right. kind of things. Uh, technology called um, 
It's not a liquid lithium-ion battery, but uh, um, with a with a solid part. Yeah, this is not the only technology where uh, okay. research is done. The power electronics really can be. They can have a difference from 90% efficiency to 95% efficiency. Oh, wow. so Normally you also can achieve a motor 90, 91, 92% efficiency. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have some additional losses in the electronics, in the power electronics, in the battery as well, yeah. but you are far away from this. So uh, we are very efficient. Because right now the capacity, the energy capacity of the battery compared to its weight is of course way higher than um, compared to fuel, for example. Okay. That's the end. Is can you it? show me all around? I can't see anything more, can I? Can you show me secrets? I cannot show you secrets, unfortunately, but I will show you anything new that will appear on the market very soon.